Hello guys, in this video, let's see what is application load balancer. ALB is designed for microservices. In microservices applications, we generally need a routing based on port or based on path. Okay, before getting into ALB, uh, how we can deal with uh, load balancing microservices when we have two? One way to deal with that, put one a load balancer in front of each and every microservice like this or maintain one application load balancer or a load balancer which routes traffic to different microservices instead of having one load balancer for each microservice we're gonna have only one load balancer for complete application with n number of microservices so in our example we are taking orders microservice and payments microservice when we set up ALB, we usually configure ALB, listeners and target groups. Target group contains group of EC2 instances running a specific microservice. Here we have two target groups, one for orders, other one is for payments. And we do have two listeners, which helps in making routing decisions. It helps ALB when to route traffic to orders and when to route traffic to payments. Of course, we can have one listener and make all routing decisions. In this example, I'm showing two listeners which is created for two different microservices. The routing can happen based on the path. That is, when request comes to ALB and containing orders in the path, it is routed to orders microservice. In the same way, the routing decision can be made based on port. In sense, when any request comes to ALB on 80, I want to route traffic to orders. So like that, I can have one more rule saying if URL contains, otherwise path contains payments, route it to payments microservice. In our example, we'll have only one listener, which listens on 80 and routes traffic to different target groups one for orders and other one is for payments for the purpose of demonstration let's create two target groups with one ec2 instance in each and i'm going to show you how to route traffic based on the path right now i'm in aws management console let's launch one amazon linux machine for orders target group i'm selecting all defaults even I want to have them in uh, default VPC, default subnet, and make sure public IP is enabled. Under advanced section, I want to put user data script, which installs Apache and creates one orders app on top of Apache. For that, I have written one small user data script that installs Apache, enabling Apache, I'm creating a folder for orders. When you install Apache, this path by default exists. Under this path, I'm creating orders because when I access orders in the URL, I need this path. I'm putting a sample index HTML file on this orders. And finally, I'm starting my server. Let's take this and put it in user data. So go to storage leave all defaults let's call this orders security group i would like to open all but or i can keep only 80 open let me create a new one i don't want ssh right now i just want http and keep it anywhere i don't want even keep it launch instance so open that instance once it is up cross verify what we installed is running without any issues let's take public ip 80 is by default orders right yeah this application is up so i'm i created orders folder because in the url i want 
some path like this likewise let's go ahead and create payments app likewise let's go and launch one more instance for payments let's pick amazon linux t2 micro all uh, defaults there under advanced details now i want to have different user data script for uh, installing apache and deploying a payments application i slightly changed this app in place of uh, what is that orders let's go and create payments folder even let's make this as payments app okay pick up this user data go to aws management console put it there storage tags name it is payments right a security group we already have one group which has 80 open it says you will not be able to connect to this instance that's fine with me for now okay launch uh, even i don't need any key pair launch the server go to view instances wait for this application to come up and make sure the app we deployed is working select payments pick up its public ip and test it right so we have two instances one running orders other one is running payments and if you notice this path orders is the path for this application and payments is the path for payments application now go and create two target groups target groups create target group name one is orders target type can be ec2 instance it can be any other machine a vm running on premise you can put its ip as well or lambda function for our demonstration target type is ec2 protocol is http port number is 80 and the vpc where we launched all our instances is default remember in both the instances the apache is running on 80 correct coming to health check settings for orders it should be slash orders slash index.html correct and we can leave this advanced health checks as it is we don't have to disturb them to cross check everything this target group is for orders target type is ec2 instance protocol is http because apache is running on http and apache is running on 80 port that instance is in default vpc health check settings looks fine with me create that so after creating target group you have to register targets to this edit select orders click here and also select that and save it likewise go and create one more target group for payments target type is instance protocol port remains same vpc also same coming to path right health check settings path this has to be payments slash index.html and health checks looks fine with me create it we created second one select that go to targets edit this time register payments select that one and save it okay it's all fine right and if you see target it says status unused because target groups are ready with ec2 instances it is not used by any alb the next step is go ahead and create alb create load balancer this time application load balancer name 
Java Home ALB scheme is internet facing. I want this to be internet facing such that I can access it from internet. IP address type is IP4. The listener of my load balancer should be on 80. Yes. For availability zones, it should be default. VPC is default. Uh, select all availability zones in sense you're telling the instances it has to load balance must reside in one of these availability zones the security settings we're not configuring https we don't have any ssl certificates that's why this screen is empty security groups i would select uh, apache group because even my alb is listening on 80 configure routing let's select existing target group now we are saying how to route traffic to the target groups we just created when you choose existing target group like this it auto pulls the details we added at the time of creating target groups okay register and review created close this window go to listeners it has added a listener on port 80 and see these rules there so any request coming on 80 must be forwarded to orders but i want to edit those rules okay click on view or edit so if you see this one, it is the default rule. I would like to add two rules, one for orders and other one is for payments. Insert rule, path, value is orders, add action, forward to orders. I'm creating a rule saying if path contains orders then the request must be routed to orders target group save this save this and even save this guy it says when a request comes on one second let me go back when request comes to alb on 80 it should forward to this rule okay what that rule says if path contains orders that must be forwarded to orders if there is no matching rule for this and by default it goes to the below rule so add one more insert rule the rule is again on the path payments right if path contains payments, that's why I'm putting star there, right? The path should contain payments followed by anything. Action. Forward the request to payments target group and save it. See that? These are the rules we have. Three rules we have. First priority is for rule one. If that's not matching, the second priority goes to rule 2 even if that is not matching finally by default it goes to the last rule so all rules looks fine with me let's go back to uh, target groups and cross check things see that it says earlier its status was not in use now it is added to alb its status is healthy likewise let's check for payments even its status is healthy go to lb take its dns name go to web browser correct orders it should go to orders in the path if we change it to payments it has to go to payments so that is how application load balancer works similar stuff can be done on port what i can do is 
I can say when request coming to 80, route the traffic to payments and when request coming on 90 and route the traffic to orders. Even that is possible. So overall that is how application load balancer works. Thanks for watching.